DHCP snooping. In this video I want to show you how you can enable that feature and play with it using Packet Tracer. Cisco in Packet Tracer 6.1 they added a feature called DHCP snooping. To remind you this is a, a solution that is really important if you want to create build a secure environment what you want to achieve you want to make sure that nobody can plug in connect a, for instance a Linksys router and start a DCP server on it it can kill your network in a few minutes what you want to do you want to specify a port that is allowed to send DHCP replies. Everything else in your network is not actually allowed to send DHCP uh, replies. It's, it's uh, offers and so on. It is Devices like that are allowed to ask. However, they're not allowed to provide any IP addresses. We'll use Packet Tracer because this is a new feature in Packet Tracer 6.1. What I will use to make it more interesting, I will use ASA 5505. By default, this is a DHCP server. So we don't have to enable anything, it is a DHCP server. We'll use 2960 as our switch, and we need a test PC. We'll take a straight through cable, connect port 01 to 1, zero, 01 to port 2. Let me label it. It's F01. And this one is F02. That one will be F0, let's say 10. And we'll take a cable and connect it to our test PC. make sure that ASAs are ready. You don't have to do anything if you use port uh, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 and so on, that is your LAN, it is a DHCP server. It means that at the moment we have two DHCP servers. When we go to PC0, I think in Packet Tracer 6.1 they changed that, because by default it is a static IP address. I think in the previous version of versions of Packet Tracer, the default option was DHCP. When I enable it, I should get an IP address. That's good. What we want to do, let's say we want, you know, we don't want to have a DHCP a DHCP server in this LAN at all. We want to make sure that DHCP is not allowed DHCP servers. We are going to enable DHCP snooping. To do that, we go to the global configuration mode and we have to enable it globally. IP DHCP snooping. Then we specify a VLAN that we want to use DHCP snooping in. In my case, of course, everything is in VLAN 1. To show VLAN, of course, of course, all ports are in VLAN 1. So we need IP DHCP snooping and we enable it for VLAN 1. That should do the trick. If I go to PC0, I should not get an IP address now. Good. It failed. Easy, isn't it? Now, let's say that you want to make this one a port that we call a trusted port. It means that we are okay with a DHCP server on port F01. It means it is a trusted port. What we do to make it happen, we go under this interface and we type IP DHCP snooping trust to verify 
again we go to PC0. Ah, please note, we received an IP address. To check that on the switch, we type show IP DHCP snooping binding. We'll see the MAC address of PC0 and the IP address that was assigned to it. I think there are some debugs for DHCP snooping as well. IP DHCP in packet tracer. Yes, let's use events and see what happens. I just want to keep both. There we go. Now let's let's enable packets as well to get more information. Let's do it again. Now our screen should be flooded as right. Yep. If you're interested, you can see all DHCP messages. You can see, oh, I can see DHCP request. Okay, I can see a DHCP packet here. Yeah, it's really nice. Show IP DHCP binding. Ooh. Uh -huh. Snooping binding, right? Okay. We can see one PC with a dynamic IP address. Thank you very much.